Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we got some bomb new hair. So if you guys are interested in this video, stick around and keep on watching. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. What it do, what it do? I'm back again, coming through. That ain't nobody but Sumi Sue. We're about to do the damn do. <laughs> Okay, so today as you can tell I already started off by putting on my hair But I put on my hair just to speed up this video I wanted to share with you how I cover the knots on my units whenever I don't bleach them You see what I'm saying like I'm just over bleaching. I am legit legit over bleaching so I know that you can put foundation and concealer on the unit to make it you know on the knots to make it kind of less visible but there are a few steps that I do extra just to help me along the way so I'm gonna explain that further down in the video but anyways today's hair is by Icy and the last time I did a video for them I feel like I was saying Issei it look kind of Issei-ish. That could be just the Japanese in me coming out, you know what I'm saying? Because when I look at that, I say Issei. But now that I look at it with my English eyes and not my Japanese eyes, <laughs> I see, I see. You know what I'm saying? That's what I see. So, um, yeah, today's hair is by them. And I have the, I'm going to tell you, this is their Malaysian hair. This is 200%, 250% density and this is the texture loose deep okay so it's loose deep malaysian hair 200 250 percent density can you get the words out honey okay so uh yeah it's a full unit i like full units lately like give me a because just cut down on the work you see what i'm saying like it's ready to go okay stop making noise with that in here they did give me a little eyelash situation which i was you know happy fall I might use it today because they actually look good these are actually their lashes I guess they also sell lashes because it says I see I see hair young series you know what I'm saying? <laughs> do to do and you get a little cap and I appreciate companies that look at me like they're like okay we want to work with her what color is she she's kind of brown let's send her a brown cap because these little white caps that they be sending some girl you see what I'm saying you understand what I'm saying so I like the little incentive when they do extra stuff like this yes so make sure you check them out all the information for this unit will be in the description box and all of that good stuff so I'm gonna roll the clip right here of me showing you how I you know bleach the knots well cover the knots not bleach the knot cover the knots because I'm just over bleached okay so let's get into that this way we go on. <laughs> okay so I want to show you the hair in its natural state you guys can still see the knots and stuff like that I did do a little bit of plucking this did come pre-plucked and it had that line like you know where they kind of <laughs> okay you know what I'm talking about okay where they start to tie the hair a little bit tighter and closer so all I did was go in and break up that line so I really like how this looks right now but you can still see the notch so like I said I am just over bleaching and so lately I've been doing this and I want to share with you in depth exactly how to cover these knots it's gonna make your units last a lot longer it's great for the hair because you're not adding any bleach to the actual root like to the actual knot <laughs> the actual root girl <laughs> to the actual knot you're not adding any you know bleach there so the hair is gonna stay a lot longer you know it's not gonna shed as easy it's gonna be a lot more strong so yeah I'm just over it and I really like doing this style so Let's just get into it. You're gonna need your foundation, whatever foundation you're gonna be using. I pick the ones that I tend not to use. <laughs> I'm not gonna be using foundation that I use on my skin, basically, like that's a no-no. Mm -mm. I can't be wasting that stuff. So I pick the ones that I don't use as much, not because they're not great, but because I tend to like long wear foundation. So I pick the dewy ones, the ones that don't have, you know, a long wear on them. So right now, I use black up okay I use makeup forever okay and for my powders you're also gonna need a powder I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills what is this this is her bronzing powder I bought two of these but they really don't show up on me I feel like these are just way too light like they do absolutely nothing for my skin tone you see what I'm saying like look at that that's a bronzer this one is mahogany so I use both of these and these are the darkest ones that she have and this one is cappuccino um, yeah they don't do anything for me so I like to use them on my units to cover 
You're also gonna need hairspray, any kind of holding hairspray. I use the VO5, very easy for me to get, and it does the job. You're gonna need a hair dryer as well. That's over there, I can't reach for that right now. And you're gonna need two brushes, okay? So yeah, you can also do this method with cream foundation, like actual cream foundation. I just want to put that in there, but today I'm gonna be using liquid, okay? So, now that we have everything, let's get into it, okay? So, the hair is really pretty. I'm gonna take this off and show you the hair and then we're gonna get started. So this is the hair in the natural state. This is the wig, this is the inside, this is the construction of the wig. Really nicely constructed and it fits my head perfectly. And the lace is definitely gonna need some tinting but we're gonna do all of that with the foundation and stuff. Like, I tell you, I just love doing this. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna wrap this because I don't wanna get foundation all over it. Like I try to <laughs> prolong the, le le the life span. Girl, what is you trying to say? You just don't want to get the foundation on top. As you can tell, I have foundation on my bag. I don't know if you can tell that. So we're gonna just wrap this up, okay? And then we're gonna put the wig on backwards on here. And we're gonna do the do, okay? Okay, so taking the unit, we're just going to flip it over. I really like doing this. I can't, I'm not gonna lie, okay? Like, try to get the hair laying down as well. So when you kind of flip it over, it's all, you see what I'm saying? So we're gonna get, that going and we're just gonna pin the two sides and kind of just stretch it as much as possible to get it nice and straight basically pull the hair back get in there okay okay so the first thing we're gonna do is go in with the hairspray and we're gonna spray the top spray it down so with the hair dryer, I'm just gonna go in and blow dry the hair. Basically, kind of just make the um, the hairspray. This is so hard to explain. What's wrong with me today, girl? Get it together. And I'm gonna be doing this on heat, like high heat, because you want to dry out the hairspray. So for this part, I'm gonna kind of speed it up because it's self-explanatory, but I will show you what I'm doing each and every single step. And I have the two brushes. So first I'm gonna go in with the liquid foundation with the bigger brush, and then for the powder, I'm really gonna concentrate and really poke inside the, um, the net, basically the lace, to really hug that knot and get it to cover. And we're gonna try and do our best, basically, okay? So that's what I like to do. But I'm gonna turn on my favorite show and we're just gonna speed up this part and we're gonna move on. Okay. the holding spray, give her a good coat.
then we're gonna use the dryer to dry her off. Okay, and we're good to go. So she's nicely sealed and she's not gonna be transferring, you know, once you seal her in. And you should be wearing a cap underneath this, so that's extra protection from any of this makeup getting on your scalp. So now we're gonna flip her over and we're gonna deal with all the stuff that penetrated through the lace. Okay, so here you have a close up and you can kinda see where the powder came through the lace and kinda came out on the hair, but that's completely fine. But I don't know if you can tell, but the knots look pretty covered, don't they? So we're just gonna take our brush, a hard brush, and we're just gonna start to brush out that hairspray, that product. Just removing it from out of the hair. As you can tell, it's coming out already. And when we cut the lace and we put it on, it's gonna look even better. So that's all you want to do. I gotta comb so I can show y'all even better when you part it. How it looks and I still have that bag underneath here but you can still tell how good that looks you know it's completely completely covered you know you don't see any knots do you I hope you can see that you don't really see any knots so once I have my cap on and everything this is gonna look really really good once I cut the extra lace it's gonna be nice and tinted but I have to get the ashiness out of the hair another thing I like to do is to get alcohol because alcohol dries a lot quicker and a little cotton swab and we're just gonna wipe it out it's mostly just the front as you can tell when I part the hair there was nothing inside it's always the front that really bleeds through and I think it's because it's just mostly lace here so Anyways, you just want to go in and wipe just a good wipe back before you style the hair or anything like that and this is going to take out that foundation from off of the hair try not to touch the actual knot because you can remove your work but as you can tell it's coming out and it looks really really good and when I put it on it's gonna look even better and we're just gonna wipe it out it's mostly just the front as you can tell when I part the hair there was nothing inside it's always the front that really bleeds through and I think it's because it's just mostly lace here so anyways you just want to go in and wipe just a good wipe back before you style the hair or anything like that and this is going to take out that foundation from off of the hair try not to touch the actual knot because you can remove your work but as you can tell, it's coming out and it looks really, really good. And when I put it on, it's gonna look even better. Okay, so now that you watch me do that, I basically, I went ahead and I put the unit on my head already. And to stick her down, I use the Gots To Be, not Gots To Be, Gorilla Snot. I really like Gorilla Snot. I just feel like it dries a lot quicker. A little hairspray, okay. And then after that, I molded the front and tied it down with my mousse. This is just regular styling mousse. So those are the products that I use to deal with this. So yeah, make sure you check out Icy Hair because I see that some of y'all need to go and check the situation. <laughs> let me stop okay so yeah make sure you check them out all the information for this unit will be in the description box down below and check out icy hair this hair is absolutely bomb all the information for this unit will be in the description box so make sure you check them out okay if it is your first time here please subscribe join the family we are a happy bunch 
hit that notification bell while you are at it okay like the video if you loved it as much as i did give it a thumbs up definitely share the video because sharing is caring comment down below because i want to hear from you guys follow me on all of my social media platforms which is instagram snapchat everything is under savannah silver and until the next video i will see you guys really 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 soon <laughs>